for students with learning disabilities, it's often that they just don't have that internal piece of monitoring their own writing that, that good writers have. The research has shown they just lack the strategies to approach a writing assignment. They don't, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to do it. And over time, that becomes frustrating. And then it becomes, I don't want to do it anymore. Like, why would you do it? You know, it'd be like asking me to go into a chemistry class. Okay, I don't want to do that. I don't know how to do that. So I would be frustrated too. But once you build your strategies and you build your skills, then you can see, oh, I can do this. It's not as scary as I thought it was. Or I just didn't know what good writers did. I just didn't know. And now I know what skilled writers do to write effective writing pieces. There's a fine line between releasing responsibility too fast and supporting students. So it is a delicate dance, I always tell teachers. You have to push a little, pull back a little, push a little, pull back a little. It reminds me of dance steps. And teachers know their kids, but we get, we get used to spoon feeding them sometimes, especially kids who struggle, because we have... 20 other students in the class who are moving much quicker and we, we want these kids to move quicker and stay with the class. So we sometimes will spoon feed them and that doesn't work. They really have to struggle through this and we have to make plans and ways for them to do that.